right up ahead. And then he's gonna run as soon as we get in. Well, let's check the place out. Come on. Oh. F. Morgan, number two. Everyone's number two. Oh, two. Apartments one to four to the left, so we're going to the left. That's number one. It's hard to read that, actually. Number two. Help you, gentlemen? LAPD detectives, Mr. Black. You're under arrest. Look, I'm really sorry about this. I never tried to hurt anyone. I just needed to get away from L.A. I won't put up a struggle. Just let me get my things. He's gonna make a run for it, dude. I knew it! Phelps, go after him. I'll try to head him off in the car. Remember, the gun is the last resort. Where'd he go, up or down? Oh, he went up. No, he went up! I think. There's no point running, Adrian. How can this guy run so fast? He's not a very fit man. Mr. Black, get back here right now. Get on the pole. Call us, boy. It's over, Adrian. He got on. Just come clean with her, Black. Why the melodrama? I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're gonna lose your wife, lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. So I worth it? She was worth it, Adrian. She could suck cock like no other. It totally was worth it. That turned out to be quite some case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style, too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique, good public presence. You keep that up and you learn from Bukowski here, you can go a long way in this department. Thank you, sir. Now, where do I take my piss? <laughs> you have a corner bucket or something? The driver's seat. 14 clues. Almost all questions correct. I was one off. 5,000 worth of vehicle damage. <laughs> Mrs. Black is no doormat. The right evidence, and she would have spilled the beans on her husband. So I shouldn't have accused her. That's all I said. I should have doubted her. That was me being dumb. But that's okay. One question wrong is not bad at all in, in a whole case. You have any plans for weekend Liberty Jack? My sisters have been working in Los Angeles in a bomber factory. They're coming down to visit. I'm meeting them at the station at 6. Good for you, Jack. Are they cute? They're my sisters, Hank. Attention! Final inspection before Liberty. Good job, Kelso. Gun inspection? He's gonna inspect my gun. Oh no, he's just... He's the suck-up. Are we going somewhere, gentlemen? Full inspection! It had better be exceptional if any of you want liberty this weekend. Kelso, this carbine. The bore is dirty. No, it isn't. Are you arguing with me, Kelso? Do what you need to do, Sergeant. You know the boar's immaculate. Weekend liberty canceled. Two-day field drill. Clean this rifle. No. Do you know the penalty for insubordination, Kelso? Jack, don't do it. Forget him, Hank. He doesn't have what it takes. Are you two finished? Are you going to clean this rifle? No, Sergeant. Cole is right. I'm going to stop playing games and join a rifle company and fight the real enemy. 
He's good for standing up for himself. Obviously, they were just picking on Kelso the whole time. I mean, he was always at the bottom of the baleful charts when I'm sure he was doing much better than that. And then he's cleaned his rifle, and they say it was dirtier than shit, but I don't believe it. Whoa! What an idiot. And he just runs away. That would be a hit. Did we get his plate? I didn't get his plate. Did you guys get his plate number? I didn't get the plate. All right, gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit and run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site. The coroner's on his way. Get down there. See if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. I want to make homicide. Sweet. I mean, you know you've Ray's Cafe, hit and run, run victim. Damn, this game cover. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, There's papers. I gave Let's his read wife the papers. A I said all's fair in love and war. Can we access for replay via the cases section of main menu? <coughs> What's in here? I'm gonna steal from him. Hey, look. <laughs> okay, I won't. I swear I wasn't going through your shit, Captain. I was married by a judge. Jordan asked for a jury. He's the weak to get an ID. I don't want to be rude. I'm gonna tell you what the hell is going on. I'll bet if I let him drive, he'll play by the rules, so we got to get there. And we don't want to be there like Granny Smith time. Looks like the DA is going to press charges. It's one thing I noticed. These cars can't stop for shit. Look, he puts on his four ways and everything. I don't know, Cole. She's an easy make, and the DA likes convictions. I'll convince him to let him go. How do you do that? I'll give him something better. The more you hit, the more damage you cause. Holy, look at that blood smear. He, f he got owned. A woman probably saw the whole incident right there. She's our witness. Probably go ask her in a minute. And the bartender. There's a couple of people I can ask. Detectives! Over here. Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? Because a white male named Lester Patterson walked out of the bar and into the street. Car hit over there and he ended up here. Dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar, named Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road. Is that so? We'll take a formal statement later. Right now, we're going to take a look around. All right, let's go investigate. Okay, his hat's here. This is definitely the murder take weapon. Take a look at the body. The poor guy didn't stand a chance. It matters where he got the hat from. That way, we can go get a hat just like it, because I like it. It's a nice hat. Landed on his face and ended up here. The car must have struck him from behind. He got pwned. Okay, we'll look at his face. Look for bruising of any sort. I don't see any. Okay, maybe a little lower. Oh, no, 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 not the face. California Fire and Life. Dear Mr. Patterson, it was with great pleasure that we acknowledge the receipt of your weekly 14F and pre-approval has been... Granted to raise the weekly premium on your life insurance policy from 370 per week to 590. The raise became effective January 1st of 47. Holy shit. Where our standard veteran care policy entitled to you a lump sum payout of 10 grand in the event of your untimely death or permanent incapacitation. This new plan secures your benefactories of some 16,000. What the fuck he circled. We at California Fire and Life thank you and wish you good health and security for the future. So I'm thinking we have an idea who a suspect could be. Shit, okay. His family and, uh... Yeah, because maybe his wife wanted to cap, cash in on $16,000. So I don't know, that, that's a possibility. Let's see what else he's got. He might have hired somebody to, you know... 
Is this his wallet? Yeah, his operator's license. We can notify next of kin. Next of kin. He's 36 years old. Everyone's 5'8". Why is everyone so friggin' short? I don't get it. There's cash. Not a whole lot there. Uh, what else we got? Anything up? Maybe on his hands? Not a whole lot. Maybe on his left arm? Okay. So apparently th this could very much be... What have you got on the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. What about the chest bone? Isn't that inconsistent? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent foot ornament. Those things are killers. Coroner's report. Be careful where you step in, Phelps. I don't come down to the station house and tap dance on your desk. All right, well, there's that. No, 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 don't, don't keep mounting the guy. God, you perv. You into dead guys? Oh. Some there. There you go. Oh, this. So here's the trail. Body traveled a good 20 feet. So it, this determines how fast the guy was going. Blood is a long way from the body. The car must have been going like a bat out of hell. Exactly, it must have gone really fast. Like how we drive to get to a crime scene. That's how fast it was going. <laughs> Here's the skin marks when he hit him. So the driver managed to brake before the impact. So it's like he tried to stop, but he didn't. I'm wondering though if it even is. Wait a minute, he was leaning on yours, detective. something. He was leaning on this bench when he got hit. Alright, well, I'll go talk to the, the girl, I guess, in just a sec here.